what is good youtube and welcome back to mariachi games and welcome to the first ple here in my wwe 2k24 universe mode welcome to raw's backlash man listen appreciate y'all for tuning in with me i'm very excited for this event and this is what we got planned for tonight man we're gonna kick things off with the Raw Tag Team Championships on the line as the Disciples of the Apocalypse, Karrion Cross and Dexter Loomis face off against DIYs Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. And I have banned Scarlett from ringside. Don't let the don't let the graphic fool you. Scarlett will not be involved. I don't want any shenanigans. We need definitive champions. Who's walking out undisputed? Raw Tag Team champs man speaking of champs we got to crown a brand new intercontinental champion that title is currently vacated we got biggie going one-on-one -on -one with jimmy uso who's walking out intercontinental champ jimmy looking to get a little bit of that uh that luck that his twin brother jay got over on smackdown jay's the current wwe champ but hey that's smackdown this is backlash man who's walking out intercontinental champ and we also got the European title on the line. And speaking of SmackDown, SmackDown's Finn Balor coming here to Raw to defend that European championship against the ring Himmeru. I'm talking Gother, Hemther, whatever you want to call it. It's Gunta versus Finn Balor for the European championship, man. The women's tag titles on the line is Tiffany Stratton is looking to become protege of, this, of the year as she teams up with Charlotte Flair here tonight to face Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler for the Women's Tag Team Championships. And we also got something that's very personal, very personal, man, in the bloodline. Roman Reigns going one-on-one -on -one with Solo Sokoa. This is an ambulance match, man. Who is going to incapacitate their opponent so bad to the point where they can throw them in the back of the paddy wagon and send them on their way? We also got the women's world title on the line as Asuka is challenging the man Becky Lynch who's walking out undisputed women's world champion and speaking of world champion our main event tonight the American Nightmare Cody Rose goes one on one with the very manipulative dangerous calculating Randy Orton now Randy Orton has had a beef with Cody Rose said that he birthed Cody Rose he gave us Cody Rose we owe everything to Randy Orton and tonight Randy Orton is not only looking to take that World Heavyweight Championship from Cody Rhodes, but he's looking to kill the story. Listen, without further ado, we ain't doing no more talking. Let's get to it. Welcome to Backlash. First match of the night here. We are crowning new, well, I should say not new. We are crowning definitive Raw Tag Team Champs. That's what it is, man. As we got DIYs, Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano in the building, man. It's backlash. We are here in France. And these two looking to make a standout for themselves, man. They were stars in NXT. But listen, NXT is no more in this universe mode. Maybe one day it will return. But as of right now, we need to find out who's going to lead the locker room as far as the tag team division goes man these two put on some very exciting matches in the black and gold days of nxt and i'm sure this one we're going to be in store for another classic because this is the big leagues we are here sold out sold out stadium man sold out stadium and this is not going to be an easy task we've seen the mind games with the disciples of the apocalypse with carrying cross and dexter loomis they don't play fair. But listen, the Raw Tag Team Championships are on the line, man. Dexter Loomis carrying Cross out here without Scarlet. I need this to be a fair matchup with these two teams. The Disciples Apocalypse of the Apocalypse have been uh Pretty much dominated my 2K23 universe mode. Looking to carry that momentum here into 2K24. And remember, it was at the WrestleMania episode. They were supposed to defend against Randy Orton and Riddle. Randy Orton turned on Riddle that night. He got rid of Riddle out of the WWE. So this is their first ever title defense here in 2K24. 
the task is easier said than done defend the titles against DIY it's DOA versus DIY here to kick off Backlash France man appreciate y'all for tuning in and here we go man winner gets both sets of belts of course it'll just revert to the Raw Tag Team titles and that'll be a title to go on from here man it's Tommaso Ciampa We'll be starting things off with Dexter Loomis, man. It's a lot of history in this match when you think about it. Between Dexter Loomis and Johnny Gargano specifically. But we'll get to that as this, as this match goes on. Hope y'all like my arena. It was something a little light, something a little slight. Um, paying homage to, I believe it was Backlash 2003 with that, man. You know, I think of Backlash. I think of the, of the hooks, man. But, of course, we got the ambulance up there. If y'all want me to put this in community creations, I will. Just let me know if y'all would like to see this. It's some some light, not too major. I had to come up with it pretty quick, but oh, speaking of pretty quick, Dexter Loomis looking to pit a a, a quick beating to Tommaso Ciampa, and we got the very dangerous carrying cross now becoming the legal man. In this match is these two right here, very parallel, man. Believe it or not, in my opinion, I look at their work in NXT, man. Look at this ankle lock. On Tommaso Ciampa. Tommaso quickly able to get out of that, man. These two were very uh, dominating NXT champs. Of course, Tommaso Ciampa having to relinquish his due to injury. But when these two held that NXT title, oh, yeah. They meant business, man. Oh. And now you're here on Raw. You only got Raw on SmackDown. And look at, look at, look at. Cross now going after Gargano. Come on, Rev. This can't be fair. Gargano is not even a legal man. He's just trying to work an advantage. Like I was saying, though, with just Raw and SmackDown, two rosters, there's only two sets of tag team championships, the SmackDown tag titles and the Raw tag titles. For one of these teams, you lose tonight, you might get lost in the sauce. There's a lot of tag teams in my universe mode, man, a whole lot. Tommaso Ciampa, strong forearm. To carry a cross, man. DIY definitely needs to get back after being embarrassed by crossing Loomis a few weeks back. It's Tommaso Ciampa. All fired up, man. Tagging with his best friend, turn enemy, turn best friend again, man. And that is Johnny Gargano, who now becomes the legal man. Gargano, very quick. Highly overlooked, but oh, the things he can do in the ring just like that. Highly amazing. And here we go. Dexter Loomis and Johnny Gargano. These two a ton of history together. But listen, the friendship's out the window. This is a different Dexter Loomis. This is a Dexter Loomis led by Karrion Cross and Scarlet. The influence of Scarlet and Karrion Cross rubs off on this Dexter Loomis. And that has brought him to being one half of the Raw Tag Team Champs. Now Gargano. Got Loomis and DIY country tag back to Tommaso Ciampa. And this is what made DIY such a great tag team, man. Frequent tags. These two working unison together. Moves like that. That's how they get the job done. Ooh. Yeah, let's get it, man. Let's get it. Oh, but a kip up. Dexter already back to his feet. But Tommaso, no, I was going to say able to turn that around. Come on, man. Who said this is going to be easy match? And Dexter should not be able to do that. Springboard into a drop kick. No way Dexter should be able to do a move like that, man. Oh, Ciampa busted open there in the corner as Karrion Cross is not a legal man. Disciples of the Apocalypse looking to rain into this 2K24 universe mode. As chance, well, oh, 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 a little bit of friendly fire, but oh, a little cutter right there from Gargano on the cross. Cross almost played itself, man. It's like Dexter Loomis is so possessed in a way under this control of Cross and Scarlet. This man got hit by Cross and didn't even think to double cross his partner. Oh, and Gargano sent to the outside, man. Champa's busted open, middle of his forehead, and cross again. Come on, man. We need some even playing ground as a Hurricane Rana. But remember, champion's advantage. This match ends by count out. DOA's walking out still Raw Tag Team Champs. Now, if that were to happen, I might restart the match, man. Might have to restart the match. We got to have a definitive winner. 
It ain't none of that fluky jukey, none of that. We need an actual winner, man. It's Gargano now, back inside the ring. Refs at a count of seven. Gargano, oh, count of eight. Look at, oh, Gargano, come on. This is why you focus on the legal man. Don't focus on the person on the apron, no. Now Gargano to get something going, man. First of two tag team championships match, championship matches here tonight as Gargano gets sent to the outside, man. And look at this again. Come on, the ref got to stop Cross at this point, man. You got to stop carrying Cross at this point. Oh, and a super kick. That'll stop carrying Cross. Star kick to the back. Get crossed back inside the ring. That's the only way for DIY to capture the Raw Tag Team Championships. Here we go, man. They need some hard-hitting moves in this match. Watch out, ref. They need some hard-hitting moves in this match. Nothing has really been hit that has been too crazy. But, oh, cross jacket. Yep. There we go. That'll get him out of here. Tommaso, help your mans. Help your mans. But your mans got itself. That match could have been over very quickly. As soon as that move got cinched in, it was going to be curtains for Gargano. Look at this. Another ankle lock now. Applied from carrying Cross. This will put Cross to the test. You're out here without your woman, without Scarlett at your side. Can you still get the job done? And that was very sloppy. I don't know what was Gargano was looking for. Maybe it was another bulldog. But either way, it's got Cross grounded, down on the ground. As we got the bloodied. Bloody canvas, Tommaso Ciampa back inside the ring. Cross looking for a breather. But listen, Tommaso still wants some smoke, man. Take the shots off. Oh, gets pushed down. Oh, and, oh, and again. Tommaso, just gonna have to take the L with Loomis at that point, man. Loomis stood his ground, was not going. But wait a minute. DIY looking to go back to the States as Raw Tag Team Champs. No, kick out at one. Should have known that wasn't going to be three now. Kick to the gut. We know what this is. We know what this is. No, we don't know what this is. But that is a clothesline to Tommaso Ciampa. And Cross, it's time for the apocalypse at this point. Oh, God. Hard hitting. And... Gargano immediately, expeditiously in there to save his partner, to save his boy, man. And then cross another DDT looking to open up that scab, that cut, that gash even more. It's a tag now to Dexter Loomis. Ooh, Tommaso Ciampa quick to get back. Here we go. Tag to Johnny Gargano. Oh, nice Hurricane Rana. And a, oh, nice. It's like a low-level pater, but Gargano stand on the offense. And this is DIY's advantage. This is their ace in the hose. The speed of Johnny Gargano, man. The speed of Gargano. Oh, Luther has pressed from Dexter Loomis. And once Dexter has his hands on you, it's hard to get away from him, man. And here's the cover. Shoulders down, leg is hooked. And oh, ref couldn't even get into position in time to make the count. So now Dexter, oh, gets overtaken by Gargano. You know, there were simpler times, man, when Dexter was, you know, uh, I ain't going to say a happier character, but a, a well-tempered individual at one point. But this is a different Dexter Loomis. Tommaso is now back again as the legal man, but a clothesline takes down Ciampa. Dexter Loomis, I don't know. This is somebody you can't even guess what's going through their mind, man. Tag to carrying cross. And what are these two thinking? This is different offense, shoulder tackle. And the disciples of the apocalypse going to town on Tommaso Ciampa. And just by observation, it's looking like Gargano is probably the fresher of the two. We need Gargano back in this match. No disrespect to Ciampa, but I don't think they stand a chance at this point with the condition that Ciampa is in. 
Man, this is just different. It's a different type of beat down with these two, man. Dexter going up top. Dexter Loomis calling for Tommaso to get up. Oh, and another shoulder tackle. And here's the cover on Ciampa. No. Kick out at two, man. Just contorting the head of Tommaso at this point. One team could walk out undisputed Raw Tag Team Champs. All the work that DIYs put in on NXT. Oh, man. How is Dexter not knocked out from that, man? And another thing, come on. It's going to take a lot to knock this man out. Here's a tag to Gargano. And look, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. It's a freak. Sick freak. Oh. Gargano didn't even get hit with that. I was going to say brace for impact, but no. And look at this. Gargano now looking to put Dexter away. We need more moves like that, man. Need more moves like that, Gargano. Timing it up. Bam. Jaw checking. Dexter Lomas, but Cross immediately in there to break it up. The Gargano don't like that. Gargano don't like that. Right, but Cross, it don't matter if he taps out. Cross ain't even a legal man. Dexter's still down on the ground. I'll try pinning him again. Cross is laid out, though. You got to get Cross out the way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dexter might be too close to the ropes, though. Submission is applied, though. Dexter grabbed for the ropes. He's got the ropes, though, but I don't think. Does the ref, the ref didn't see? How did the ref not, but. Oh, no. Nah. I guess we got new Raw Tag Team Champs. Dexter clearly had the ropes, though. Dexter had the ropes, though. Wow. I guess, I guess, new champs. DIY has made it to the top with some controversy. So we just crowned new Raw Tag Team Champs. Question here is, who's walking out new Intercontinental Champ? Because we are guaranteed a new champ in this match. As Jimmy Uso makes his way down this ramp. Man, the lighting kind of different on this backlash arena. I ain't gonna lie. Maybe I should have fixed that. Nonetheless, though, the show must go on. Damn it. Now, Jimmy Uso, kind of the dark sheep, literally at this point of the bloodline, man. Listen, with Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa, they're going to war later tonight in an ambulance match. But his brother, his baby brother, main event Jay Uso is on a ride of his lifetime is the current wwe champion and jimmy uso tonight has the opportunity to become new intercontinental champ to win his first singles title but imagine if jimmy doesn't get the job done here against biggie oh man oh man i don't know where jimmy goes from here he's gonna spiral for sure but listen we got the former Intercontinental Champion, Big E, in the building, man. And for Big E, it was at WrestleMania. Big E versus Guta versus Brock Lesnar. It was a triple threat match with those three. Big E lost his Intercontinental title at WrestleMania. Brock Lesnar walked out of the WWE, thus vacating the Intercontinental title. So Big E, because he was the last champ before Brock, he automatically got put in this match. Jimmy Uso has to go through a gauntlet match from episode one. So here we go, man. Can Big E regain that intercontinental title? Or will Jimmy Uso win his first ever singles championship and become new intercontinental champ here in France? That's what it's all about, man. A very prestigious championship held by a ton of Hall of Famers. You can't count how many Hall of Famers. It's that many that have held that championship. So many great moments surrounded around that championship. The design may have changed over the decades, but the prestige and honor remains the same.
Here we go, Big E. Jimmy Uso right out the gate running STO. Big E is very hungry for this, man. He was attacked by a chair by Jimmy Uso. It's a little uh, personal edge heading into this match. Ooh. Big E wants to regain that Intercontinental title. Biggie, a former WWE champion, holds his accolades very near and dear as Jimmy is getting worked in this match, man. I'm not even going to lie. Jimmy is getting worked in this match by Big E. And oh, Jimmy, nice. Right into that corner. And Big E, no, gets taken down now by Jimmy. I know Jimmy is rooting for his big cuz, Roman Reigns. In that ambulance match later tonight against his own brother, Solo Sokoa. You know, Jimmy wants the bloodline to be back on top. Solo's no longer in the bloodline. Jey Uso, no longer in the bloodline. Right now, it's just Roman and Jimmy Uso. And a win right here in this match would definitely set the tone of the night for Roman Reigns and Jimmy. It's Big E now, looking to use that strength. This man is no Joe. Look at this. Look at that's a grown man that he had in his hands like that. Biggie, very impressive every time he steps into the ring. And now Jimmy in trouble. Oh. You know, wait a minute, shoulders down, a leg is hooked. Biggie looking to skate out of France. No. You know, comparison is always the thief of joy. And I know for Jimmy Uso. It's got to get to him tuning in to SmackDown, seeing the little brother, Jey Uso as WWE Champion. That's got to eat away at him. Tonight is his redemption. It's his chance. Like I reiterated, I reiterated again, like I said in the last match. Look at this, snap suplex on the outside. Listen, you lose a match like this, the rosters are huge in my universe mode. Jimmy lose this, he might get lost in the sauce. There's a lot of viable contenders for that Intercontinental title. A lot of guys that want to be showcased in this universe mode. That I want to showcase in this universe mode. You lose tonight. Listen, this is, this is pivotal. This is very important for both of these individuals. Be mindful of the ref's count. I don't know what happens if this ends by double count out or by count out in any way. Oh, there's no champion's advantage for either of these men. Does the title just stay vacant? Count of eight, Jimmy gets sent back into the ring as Big E trailing right behind him, man. And Big E, look at this abdominal stretch. Abdominal stretch, but quickly overtaken by Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso, I can only imagine with Jimmy, how Jimmy would feel as Intercontinental champ to try to go, you know, I ain't gonna say one up his brother, but let his little brother Jay know, like, listen, man, I'm doing my thing here on Monday nights too. These two, so much history. Oh, between not just Jimmy and Jay, but between the Usos and the New Day, man. Jimmy going up top. Jimmy, oh, I think he was looking for a diving head, but, but that didn't work at all. Shout ref. Oh, turn it up now. Big E ran right into a sharp elbow. Believe it busted. Big E open. Here we go, man. Jimmy once again got something for Big E. He got an answer for everything Big E's hitting him with. Oh, and Big E. There's his answer. There's his answer. Hopefully this match doesn't end with a controversy like our Raw Tag Team Championship ended. We got to address that on the next episode of Raw Universe Mode. Nice display of strength and power from Big E, man. A very charismatic, yet dominating in the ring. But he can make you laugh when he want to make you laugh. But right now, Big E means business stumping a mud hole in Jimmy Uso's ass, man. Come on. Oh. We got way more championship matches here tonight including the european title the women's tag team titles the women's world title and the world heavyweight championship man
And a Uso splash countered. Countered. Could that be his own demise? Big E, no. Oh, man. Big E, that tells me he's looking for any opportunity. One slip up, one hiccup from his opponent. Big E's going to take advantage. Look at this strength right there. Yo, that's crazy. Then Big E up. Straps come down. Let's go, Big E. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I think he was looking for the big ending, but got a big super kick to the face and to the back of the head. And Jimmy... Got Big E down. No. Big E kicks out. Jimmy was looking. He, he could taste that championship, man. Ha. You got to stay on him, man. You got to stay on him. And Jimmy doing this for his bloodline. That's in shambles right now. Winning the Intercontinental title could bring some light back to the bloodline, man. Oh, nice Samoan drop. And Jimmy going up top once again looking to connect this time oh so splash missed again yo and biggie what's biggie cooking oh no wrecking the eye come on ref you gotta call something that's not right and another no he's gonna say another samoa drop but no biggie saw it coming he saw it coming look at this strike right here oh tying up jimmy and here's the cover Big E, does he have it? No, kick out at two, man. And Big E, this is a sight we don't see too often, man. Going up top. Come on, calling for Jimmy to get up. And nice, oh, power slam reversal from the shoulder tackle. Come on, man. Come on, Jimmy. Looking to win his first ever, first ever singles championship. He's so close to pulling it off. So close to pulling it off. Oh, it's a unique headbutt right there, man. Jimmy looking to build some more momentum up. So hopefully third time's the charm. If he goes for another Uso, Uso splash, but look at this, just kicking around Big E, man. Come on, he's firing off right hands on the former Intercontinental champ, man. And now Jimmy believes this might be his time. Jimmy, another Uso splash this time. It connects right on Target new intercontinental champ Jimmy Uso. Come on, man. That's something for bruh. That's something for little bruh. Listen, Jimmy Uso also doing his thing here on Monday night's nice new intercontinental champ. Let's go. So far, it's been a night of new champs as we go from one championship match to another. This one is for the European Championship. SmackDown's Finn Balor here to defend it against Raw's Ring Hemero, aka General Hemther Gother Gunta. Listen, this was a challenge put out from Gunther. He wants to wrestle the best of the best, the best in the world. And in his eyes, Finn Balor is one of them, man. Now, this match ain't about being a good guy. It's not about being a bad guy. It's about the Intercontinental, or no, not the Intercontinental champ. Listen, I'm still heartbroken from WrestleMania. The 666-day reign of Gunther has come to an end, man. I thought Gunther had Sammy. So I'm still kind of tore up on that, but this is about the European Championship. Y'all also, let me know what y'all thought about WrestleMania Night 1 and 2, man. It's getting a lot of flack right now, but I personally enjoyed it. Incredible WrestleMania, man. They did their thing. I didn't know how they could top WrestleMania 39, but they did an incredible job. Congratulations, Cody Rhodes, finally finishing the story, man. Finally. 
And your boy will be going to SmackDown this Friday. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. But nonetheless, though, Gunther waiting in the ring for his opponent. This man is a former NXT champ. This man is the first ever Universal Champion. He is our current reigning, defending European champ, Finn Balor, man. Now, it was weeks ago on Raw, Finn Balor went one-on-one -on -one with Ilya Dragunov, defeated Dragunov, and after the match, Gunther pretty much let Finn know that he had his sights set on him, man. Man, I hate how dark it is up there. I should have added some lights of some sort, man. But nonetheless, though, man, like I said, the show must go on. Still to come tonight, Women's Tag Team Championships. The Women's World Championship. We got an ambulance match with Roman and Solo. And we also got our main event, Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton for the World Heavyweight title, man. That's going to be major. We are here in France for backlash we're taking it international man question here is will Finn Balor head back to Smackdown still European champion will he head back to his judgment day still European champ it was back at Wrestlemania in my 2k23 universe mode Finn Balor defeated Drew McIntyre at Wrestlemania to become new inner I keep saying or kind of champ. European champ, man. Damn it. But here we go, man. Decided to bring that championship back, man. There's so much diversity on the WWE roster, man. Talent from all over the world. So it's only right we brought back the European title. And it's only right. It's poetic that Finn Balor is the first to hold it here in my universe mode, man. All right, so here we go. The challenger, Gunther. Longest running NXT UK champ. One of the longest running Intercontinental champs. And when Gunther holds gold, he holds it for a while. A win tonight. You ain't taking that championship from Gunther. That European title will not leave Gunther. So for Finn Balor, he better hope that he brings the fight. And I know Finn will. Finn is nothing to be taken lightly. Here we go, man. We're here at Backlash, here in France. European Championship on the line, man. Fan realizing he could be looking at that title for the very last time because this is no small task. This is no regular man. Here we go, man. Intercontinental. Why do I keep saying Intercontinental? European Championship on the line. I got to put some respect on that championship, man. I just brought it back. Cut me some slack, man. More episodes we do, the more I realize it's the damn it, it's the European title. But here we go. Gunther, Finn Balor, Finn out the gate, looking to go for some speed and have the speed overtake. Gunther, but Gunther. All about power when it comes down to the ring general. Out here by himself, no Giovanni or Ludwig at his side. Gunther is an individual that takes his craft, his work, very serious. Oh, so much respect for this very sacred sport. Oh, not with the gimmicks. Not here to make anything look flashy. Gunther means business when he steps into the ring and Finn Balor getting right to business. Look at that. Finn already getting to it, man. A successful title defense under his belt. And Finn, nice, using that quickness to his advantage. Finn Balor. Gunther back to his feet, man. Nice snap, man. Balor, stern kick to the back. Talk about Gunther not having Imperium at his side. Balor doesn't have the Judgment Day at his side either, man. So props to both of these two, man. You got to see who is a man's man who will get it done on their own solo dolo, man. Gunther got Finn up. This is not good positioning for the European champion. Oh, sent to the outside. That's what I mean, man. Gunther is not here to spare anybody's feelings. He's not here to make anything look pretty. He's just hard hitting. But Finn able to recuperate from that very quickly. 
That drop kick didn't even take Gunther off his feet. That didn't even take Gunther off his feet. Gunther looked like he was aiming towards getting Finn back into the ring because, uh, listen, champion's advantage. Count out with disqualification. Finn leaves out of backlash, still European champ. So Gunther knows he has to beat him inside the ring. Fair and square. Gunther, nice. Oh. Oh. That was crazy. Look at this. Just, just kicking at Finn Balor. Look at that. It's like he's nothing. That is crazy. I'm just going to let him do that to you, Finn. And Gunther having his way in this match. Oh. And here's the cover now on the European champ. It's kind of like a like a like a hour clock at this point, man. I don't know. Finn Balor's championship run could be dwindling down. And Gunther's refusing to go down at this point, man. Yo, this is oh, this is crazy. Finn is in trouble. Finn is in a lot of trouble in this match. Gunther might just be too powerful. And look at this. Got an answer for everything, man. The in-ring psychology of Gunther is just crazy. Ooh. Look at this. Look at this. Going to pull that shoulder out of socket, man. Finn's in trouble. I don't know what's... Oh, going through the mind of the ring general right now. But whatever this is, oh, man, this move is crazy. I like that move, though. Very effective. Very, very effective, man. And legal to an extent. You got to love moves like that, man. And Gunther just not letting up. Even when Finn is on the outside, he's not letting him get a breather at all, man. Gunther got to get Finn back into the ring, no. That looked crazy. That looked crazy, man. Gunther's targeting every part of Finn Balor. It was the arm, it was the hand, now it's the legs. Saw the neck, the back. That's what makes him the ring general and Balor overtaking Gunther. Refs at a count of six right now. A count of seven as Finn Balor looking to get his challenger back inside the ring maybe it's something on Balor's end that he needs to prove man Gunther is probably one of the, the best newcomers I ain't gonna really call him a newcomer but he's one of the best right now you know when you talk about the future of the WWE you bring Gunther's name into it man because Gunther's gonna be around for a while to come and Balor Ooh. Balor's pretty established here in Gunther this is just a hard-hitting match, man. Just a hard-hitting match. Nothing pretty about this, man. Nothing pretty at all about this. It's Balor again turning it up on Gunther. Balor's strategy has to keep Gunther grounded like that. You keep him like that, you can go for that coup de grace. You might have to hit two or three of them, but it'll get the job done. But you need Gunther on his back. Pause. You need that, though. It's Balor. It's back to his feet. Gunther now. Oh. And now it's Finn Balor. Now it's Finn Balor. That'll get Gunther down. But how much did that take out of the European champ? Here's the cover. Oh, Gunther. Could that be it? No. Gunther kicks out. That took everything out of Finn Balor to not just deliver that move, but to go over for the pin. Oh, and this is just not looking good as far as the stamina goes for the European champ. Oh, chop. And another chop. Taking a breath out of Balor here tonight at Backlash. Gunther is up top. Oh, he didn't connect with all of it. But it was enough to take Balor down. Look at this. This is brutal. This is brutal. Ugh.
Gunther looking to secure his first ever European championship here tonight at Backlash. Looking to bring that European championship to Raw. Gunther. Oh, Balor sidestep. And that could have been catastrophic for Finn. And Balor, no clothesline. Whenever Balor gets to cooking, Gunther puts out his flame. Now Gunther is going up top. Oh, we don't see that too often from the ring general. Gunther is calling for Finn Balor to get up. And this might be it. It's curtains. Oh, for Balor and his championship reign. Ladies and gentlemen, no. Cannot count Balor out yet, man. Gunther now. Main streak is definitely going to come out even more. It's going to be more in just amplified at this point, man. Fireman's carry. Gunther is not here to play fair. He's not here to play fair at this point. He just hit Balor with his best, and Balor just kicked out. Now it's desperation kicking in for Gunther. Oh, forget going to the drawing board. You just got to throw everything but the kitchen sink at Balor in this match. Gunther realizing that Balor is very vulnerable at this moment. Realizing that. And now Gunther, what he's thinking. Another clothesline in the. Yo. Balor just looked like one of the stuffed animals looked how when I used to wrestle them in the basement, man. When I hit a clothesline on a stuffed animal, their body did that. That's what Balor's body just did, man. Balor looking to create distance. Gunther's like a predator right now, man. If I'm a betting man, I will bet that this European Championship reign is in its final minutes. This is definitely in its final minutes, but Balor going to keep it alive, though. Trying his best to keep this alive. Oh! Oh! Gunther smart talk about the in-ring psychology from Gunther come on man Gunther's in trouble Balor just needs the right positioning to close this thing out but Gunther is not letting him have it ah and could that do it Balor is down in trouble Gunther has just won the European Championship. Just like that. Just like that. We got a brand new European champ. The ring general. The ring hemorrhoid. Is new European champ. In a night of new champions being crowned in like every match. We go to the next championship match. The women's tag team titles are on the line, and ladies and gentlemen, the queen is in the building. So ladies and gentlemen, bow down to Miss Charlotte Flair as she is gracing us with her presence and her challenge for the women's tag team titles, man. Now this match came about pretty out of nowhere, pretty much out of nowhere, man. Tiffany Stratton made the attack on Shayna Baszler, who was out there by herself, by the way. By herself, by the way. And made the challenge. Put the challenge out for Backlash. And Charlotte has seen something in Tiffany Stratton. Tiffany stepped in there with the women's world champ, Becky Lynch. Put up a valiant effort, but didn't get the job done. But Charlotte's seen something in Tiffany. She's taken her under her wing. And I expect great things from Miss Stratton and the Queen Charlotte Flair. Charlotte has never held. This is the only championship. Well, I mean, you know, you could look at the women's world title, the WWE women's title. But Charlotte's never been a tag team champion in her WWE career. This could be history in the making tonight if the pattern continues of new champs
Charlotte will be added to that list. Looking forward to this, man. I'm looking forward to it. You know, Charlotte doesn't put her trust in a lot of people. She kind of rides this all by herself. But there's something that she sees in Miss Tiffany Stratton that speaks to her. That speaks to her, her, to her spirit. And it could be the glitz and the glamour. She could see a younger her in Tiffany Stratton. We need the camera flashes on, man. Miss Tiffany Stratton, former NXT Women's Champion. You know, this is somebody who have, I've been saying this for a while. Before she even made her main roster debut, man, I've been telling people, man, Tiffany Stratton is really next up. She really her. Now, of course, you know, she's on SmackDown now. A lot of people are starting to wake up to the talent of Tiffany, man. But a lot of us that have been watching NXT faithfully, we've been through this, that Tiffany is one of them. This is a big, big match. The protege of Charlotte Flair, Tiffany Stratton. But you're in there with the big dogs. This is where the big dogs play. And this is one of the big dogs. One half of the women's tag team champs. You could call her a prize fighter. You could call her an ass kicker. You could call her one half of the women's tag champs. You can call her former NXT Women's Champ. But listen, this is Shayna Baszler, and Baszler is not here to play games. She means business. She means business in this, man. And I wonder how Shayna feels being left out in the open. She had a match with Becky Lynch on SmackDown. Ronda was nowhere to be seen, and Ronda is the WWE Women's Champ. Nowhere to be seen, man. But here tonight, man, you see different entrances, separate entrances. Could it be a little bit of tension between Ronda and Shane? And I know Charlotte and Tiffany, different entrances, man. But you know those two, the spotlight just got to be on them individually, man. So that's understood, understandable. But when you're best friends like Ronda and Shayna, you kind of expect them to come out together. Just saying. But nonetheless, though, the champ is here. Ronda Rousey, one half of the women's tag champs as well as the reigning WWE women's champ. So she just got the tag title with her here tonight. And Ronda Rousey, here for her partner here tonight though, man. Ronda's been on a little bit of luck, successfully defended the women's championship against Roxanne, not just at WrestleMania, but also on SmackDown, man. But as far as those tag team titles go, listen, they've been ducking smoke. And those titles got to get defended. And they will be defended here momentarily, man. So here we go. Women's Tag Team Championships on the line. I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to be a little biased and say that I hope Charlotte and Tiffany Stratton skate off with this win. I will say that. All right, man. Championships been changing hands all throughout this this PLE, this premium live event. And these two, if the pattern continues, it's going in their favor. Tiffany Stratton, Charlotte Flair. Now we got Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler. It's all about the women's tag team championships. Titles, of course, defended across both Raw and SmackDown. Even though Ronda and Shayna are SmackDown superstars. Charlotte and Tiffany looking to bring those titles to Raw. The same way Gunther just brought the European Championship to Raw, man. So here we go. Looks like Shayna and Charlotte will be starting things off in this match, man. And here we go, man. We kick off tonight. Crown a new Raw Tag Team Champs DIY. And look at Shayna immediately. Cross arm bar immediately going for Charlotte, going for the work, going for the kill early. Charlotte 
you know, you look at her career, in my personal opinion, one of the most decorated women on the roster, man. What was that? I don't know what that was. Nonetheless, though, man, Charlotte fighting back against Shayna. You know how dangerous Shayna can get, how ruthless she can get. But clearly, Charlotte sees something special in Tiffany Stratton. Something special to the point where she believes they could capture the tag team titles from Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. Imagine that. No disrespect to Tiff, but look at this. Look at this athleticism. Look at this strength of Shayna Baszler, man. And Charlotte immediately back to her feet, but Shayna, no, Charlotte now. Nice body slam. Oh. And for Shayna Baszler. You know, she wants to recoup from that match with Becky. From that beat down from Tiff. Oh. Charlotte got her jaw checked in that moment. And sent to the outside. Champions advantage. Ronda still looking to remain a double champ. Shayna Baszler looking to keep her half of the gold as well. Look at this. Just ground and pound on the queen. Shayna doesn't give a damn if you call yourself the queen, the king, the prince, the princess. She's just trying to beat some ass, man. Count of five. From the ref, like I said, champion's advantage. Count of seven. Oh, count of eight. Count of nine. And both women back inside the ring. Yo, that's crazy. I thought it was over. Charlotte, no. Nice. Oh, 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 both women, great minds, think alike, I guess. And now Charlotte's beating the best of the best. And here's the cover on the chain. Her shoulder's down like it's hooked. No. And here's the tag to Tiffany Stratton. It's Tiffy time. Oh. It is indeed Tiffy time here at Backlash. And I'm not going to lie on paper. Tiffany Stratton and Shayna Baszler. It seems very one-sided. But Tiffany is bringing a work to Shayna. And I know Shayna has a bone to pick with Tiffany Stratton. Hold on, Tiff, Tiff, what you doing? Oh, firing off on Ronda. The same way she did Tiff, or, or Shayna, I should say. And Tiffany Stratton, can you imagine? Look at this small package. Shayna looking to pack her away early. No. Tiffany Stratton gets the win for her team tonight. Yo, that would be crazy. But I think Charlotte believes in her. Charlotte believes in her. She sees something in her. Nice. Nice pay dirt right there. No. Shayna, strong forearm. I got to give credit where credit is due. Tiffany Stratton is definitely holding her own against a very dangerous woman like Shayna Baszler. And Ronda's calling for the tag, and Ronda is now the legal woman. And Tiffany not even letting Ronda get anything in. Yeah, she definitely been in the lab with Charlotte Flair, man. You can tell. Maybe I'm getting too far ahead of myself because Ronda Rousey gets in the ring and Ronda gets busy. Tiffany Stratton. Oh, you would think lopsided affair. Now look at this tag to Charlotte. The history that Charlotte Flair and Ronda Rousey have together should be documented and studied by the students at Harvard University, man. These were two of the three women that main evented the first ever all-women's main event at WrestleMania 35. And now look at this. Look at this. Ronda immediately using combat to get out of the sleeper. Both women back to their feet and Ronda Rousey. Nice. These two come from very different worlds. Have the same objective and that is to be the best at whatever they do. To get the respect and the spear from Charlotte to Ronda. And here's the cover now. 
Ronda's down and in trouble. The kick out at two. He almost had new champs. A second away from new women's tag team champions, man. Oh. And look at these jabs. Look at these jabs. And Charlotte, the queen, can't even duck those. Tag back to Shayna Baszler. You got to keep this frequency, man. You got to keep this going. And now Shayna, oh. And here's a cover on to Charlotte. Is Charlotte out? No. Don't count the queen out just yet. Tiffany is calling for the tag, but tag back to Ronda Rousey. And as long as Rousey and Shayna can control the pace of this match, I believe they're going to be in good standing. You hit Charlotte with something, you know, something heavy. She's down. She's recovering. You tag your partner. Rinse and repeat. You keep that strategy up. You're walking out. Still chance. This is exactly what I mean. You're keeping her away from her partner at the same time. Look at this. What is Shayna thinking? Look at this. A submission machine. Damn it. Look at that. Crazy. Tiffany desperately wants a tag. And Charlotte now fighting back. Charlotte. Charlotte. Neck breaker. Charlotte fighting back. And look at that strength from the queen. And, and Shayna was trying to roll to the outside. Charlotte said, ah, ah, ah. Here's the cover. Do we have new women's tag team champs? Do we know? Kick out at two. Oh, man. Charlotte no. Thought she was gonna drag Shayna to her side to get Tiffany in there. But it looks like Charlotte's going back over to the other side of the tracks, man. Ronda is once again a legal woman. These two working in unison, working as a very effective tag team, preventing Charlotte from even getting to her partner, man. Man. And now look at Ronda. Look at this. Now look at Ronda, Charlotte, nighty night. And the look Ronda just gave Tiffany, but Charlotte, so much resilience. So much resilience. She was trying to get back to her feet after that. And now what is Ronda thinking? Now Ronda, yep, looking to rip Charlotte's arm off. And Charlotte gets out of it. Gets out of it, and Tiffany right there to help. Be careful of the disqualification, though. Now Ronda Rousey, oh, hitting some of her best hits at Charlotte. Maybe second, second guessing. Here's a tag to Shayna and a tag to Tiffany Stratton. Oh, these two. Immediately going to offense, not defense. And Stratton taken to the outside, not where you want to be, especially with Ronda Rousey right there. Oh, man, this ain't right. Come on, come on. Get some order. Shayna firing shots on, on Charlotte. Look at the oh, man. Charlotte's taken out. Count of four from the ref. But Shayna is on the outside. Look at this. Look at Tiffany Stratton. Nice. Count of three. Shano's. Oh, a run up. Is that a forearm or a punch? And this is not looking good for Tiffany Stratton. Count of seven. Man, this match is just chaos, man. The ref's going to get very irritated with this count. Ronda just don't give a damn. Tiffany in trouble, man. Count of five. And Charlie is taken out. Tiffany back inside the ring. And now this might just have sealed the fate of Tiffany Stratton. 
Yep, it's wraps. Tiffany, nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. And she didn't tap out, though. Tiffany didn't tap out. You know how many people tapped out to that move? And now what is Ronda thinking? What is Ronda thinking? Wait a minute, Charlotte. Charlotte's calling for the tag. And she gets the tag to Charlotte. Tiffany can't even move. Charlotte, Charlotte, natural selection. And there's the cover on the Ronda. No, Shayna immediately in there to break it up, man. A natural selection is very dangerous. One of the most dangerous moves in the arsenal of Charlotte Flair. Ugh. Oh, oh. Ronda got an answer for everything. These two, so much history. They know each other so well. Oh, very well. Oh! Ronda running right into that elbow. And Charlotte tagging Tiffany in to possibly finish the job. Finish the job, Tiff. Oh! Rousey, oh! I'm not gonna lie, Tiffany Stratton has got Ronda Rousey's number and got her right where she belongs. Never thought I'd say that. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. But a kip up from Tiff. And Tiffany not going for it. Tiffany Stratton not going for it. Tiffany. Anything you can do, I can do better. Ronda in trouble. Sent to the corner. And what in the world does Tiffany know? Thought she was looking for something else. Oh! Reverse DDT. Maybe I'm going to have a Tiffany epiphany and just say still tag team champs. Oh! Yeah, it's looking like that. Shayna locked in. Locked in. Charlotte, get in there. Charlotte quickly breaks it up. And Shayna doesn't like that. Now look at this. Shayna's going to have some fun. Oh. Shayna's going to have some fun. Oh. And there's a cover. Still. Still. Women's tag team champs, man. Oh, man. What is going on with Shayna, yo? <laughs> hey, it's all about Ronda, I guess. All about Ronda. What a night backlash has been so far as we are now heading into our ambulance match. A battle within the bloodline. We got a man that means business. Solo Sokoa is in the building, man. Now listen, to give you a little bit of backstory for those of you who are new, this all started in WWE 2K23 universe mode. The Rock made his return. Roman told Solo, handle the Rock problem. The Rock instead gave Solo Sokoa some words of encouragement, told him to break out, be his own man. He didn't need Roman Reigns. Solo broke out. This led us to WrestleMania. Solo Sokoa, The Rock, and Stone Cold versus Roman Reigns and the Usos. That match in an encounter out. Roman beat Solo Sokoa up on the outside of the ring and refused to let him back inside the ring. And it didn't count out. Here we are at Backlash. We got to have a winner. We got to have a winner now in this match. Now, ladies and gentlemen, those of you watching, no matter where you're watching from, I need the ones 
in the sky. And I need y'all to acknowledge the tribal chief. Now listen, Roman Reigns is as decorated as they come. He even sent his wise man, Paul Heyman, to give Solo Sokoa a message. And that message was as follows. Roman is sorry for what he has to do here tonight. And Roman Reigns hopes the ancestors can forgive him he hopes his family can forgive him because this is not going to be pretty. This is going to be a war. So much animosity, so much tension built up between Roman and Solo Sokoa. And for these two, there's no going back now, man. There's no going back. Roman Reigns felt embarrassed, disrespected by Solo, and betrayed by Solo Sokoa. Now listen, we're going to put it to the test. If Solo Sokoa wants to be his own man, well, guess what? You're going to have to go through Roman Reigns. If you do that, if you can stand on all 10 against Roman Reigns, then hey, maybe it is your time. There's not going to be anything pretty about this match. Nothing technical about this match. None of that, man. This is an ambulance match here at Backlash France. You incapacitate your opponent. There are no pinfalls, submissions, disqualifications, or countouts. The only way to win is for a superstar to force their opponent into the ambulance by any means necessary. After closing both doors, the remaining superstar will be declared the winner those are the rules here we go man i'm glad they included this match in 2k24 um i never played this match type yet in 2k24 i never even you know spectated a match with this so i don't know how this is gonna go but either way here we go the ambulance set up right there this match could either be a pretty quick match. They could get the job done immediately and get up out of here. Or this could be an, an ongoing war, man. Solo sent to the outside. Bad territory. The ambulance is right there. I feel like Roman doesn't really want to hurt Solo. Roman doesn't want to do this. This is paining Roman to do this. Roman doesn't want to have to do this to Solo Sokoa. Solo forced his hand. And now Roman stabbed Roman in the back. And oh, Roman looked for a chair shot to the back, but no. These two, man. And Roman opening up the ambulance doors. And Solo is calling for Roman to get back in. Solo wants to smoke with Roman Reigns, man. Oh. And oh, whoa, like a freaking car crash. And now Roman, no, Solo getting out of it. Solo hard hitting. Had Roman laid out on the last episode of Raw Universe Mode. And now look at this bad predicament for Roman. Them open doors right there. Imagine if Solo puts Roman away early. And wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, Solo getting out of that. Knowing all Roman had to do was shift his body, and Solo was going to be in that EMT. And wait a minute, wait a minute. And Solo tossing Roman inside. Looking to make light work of Roman Reigns. And Roman trying to fight back. He's trying to fight out of it, and he does. There's a reason why Roman Reigns is one of the most decorated superstars the reason why the likes of hulk hogan rick flair john cena triple h undertaker stone cold the rock hold him such to a high standard listen i don't know if solo knows what he got himself into oh i said nothing pretty about this match man nothing pretty at all about this and 
Now Roman. Oh, Solo getting out of that, man. Solo, of course, possesses the youth. Solo's fresh. It's all about proving himself. Making a name for himself. Roman's already done everything, man. Now look at Solo. No! Roman fighting back from that. And now Roman looking to put Solo in the back of the paddy wagon. And Solo's back there. You close both doors and you are victorious, Roman. And Solo trying to fight. Solo's trying to fight. Solo and he does. It's going to be back and forth. It's going to be a lot of that, man. I feel like deep down inside, man, these two are family. And look at that. Uranagi spinning Uranagi from the next in charge, man. Look at this fireman's carry, but Roman quick to get out of it. Listen, this is not a traditional wrestling match. Oh, hard hitting. Ugh. Can only imagine the height Solo's career could go from here. His big brother, Jimmy Uso, oh, earlier tonight capturing the Intercontinental title. Maybe Solo becomes number one contender if he beats Roman. I mean, hell, you beat Roman, you might be number one contender for the World Heavyweight title at that point. No disrespect to Jimmy or that title reign, but this is a major accolade to, to a major hurdle. Roman is no joke. Roman now, oh, has beaten everyone there is to beat, man. From Triple H to Cena, oh, to Randy Orton, to The Undertaker. And oh, Solo is not letting that ambulance doors close, man. Pretty sure this match is just going to stay right here in this exact spot. Not even going to lie. Oh, Roman. Solo not, solo not going, man. Getting out of that again. Still got a whole lot left in the tank. And solo now going to attack. For Roman Reigns, a win tonight. He'll be that much closer. And look at this. Yup. Solo's going to sleep. We can't even see. We don't got a camera on this. I don't know what's going on. Come on, man. My guess is Solo's going to sleep. Solo in trouble. Roman just tossing his little cousin in that ambulance. He can't even get a door shut on Solo Sokoa, man. He can't even get a door shut on Solo. Yeah, Solo fights out of it every time. They're going to have to inflict more damage to each other, man. And now Roman Reigns. Oh, boy. He's climbing to the top. This, this is probably not a good idea. And Solo, he's going to follow him up there. This probably ain't a good idea, man. Oh, boy. Samoa Spike ah, on the top of the ambulance. Oh, man. Roman, watch out below. Oh. I thought he was going to go flying off of that. Off of the ambulance. And Solo. Shades the last Raw. Hit a Solo. Uh, a Samoa Spike, I should say, on Roman. Laid him out. And now look at Reigns. This is not going to be good. Yo, watch out, Solo. Oh. oh, my God. Yo. Solo just got thrown. Powerbomb off of that top. He's going to need to go to the hospital. I don't know how he's still trying to fight back. Just accept it, Solo. Just accept it, Solo. That can't. Oh, Solo. Still refusing to go out like that. Ugh. Roman Reigns. 
closing those doors, figured he's not ready yet. There's work to be done on Lil Cuz. Now what is Roman looking for? Roman's got a kendo stick solo. Oh, and I'm gonna call Roman another Samoan spike. And Solo, Solo thinks he's ready. Proud saying one more time. You might need one more time. That's two spikes. Maybe third time's the charm. But now Solo looking for something. And he's got a freaking shovel. Why is there a shovel under the ring? God. And oh, Superman punch. And just like that, this match may have just shifted into the favor of the tribal chief. Now look at this, look at this, submission hold. Listen, if you if you put Solo to sleep off of one of these submissions, you can practically just throw him in the ambulance and call it a night. Watch out, watch out, oh, into the steps. Hard hit moves from both individuals. It's starting to turn up a little bit here. And then this ambulance match here at Backlash France. Man. I don't even know. I don't even know who's going to win this. But Roman is pummeling Solo Sokoa right now. Oh. These two. So much animosity. And look at this. Look at this. Roman Reigns. Oh. Oh. Rattling the brains of Solo Sokoa. It's going to make Solo ever regret leaving the bloodline. Oh! Solo trying to get up out of there, man. Roman. Roman, nah. Does he have it? Does he have it? Does Roman have it? He's got one close. One more close. And he's going to win it. One more close and he's going to win it. Solo. Solo. Ah, oh, Solo gets out of it. Solo still living to fight another day, man. Living to fight another day. And Roman, again, just tossing Solo in there. Solo still, come on, man. Come on, Solo, fight. Fight back, man. Fight back, Solo. Fight back. Roman, and I think this might be it, man. Uh, no, it's not it. Solo came flying out of the ambulance. Yo, this is crazy. This is crazy, man. And Roman, oh. Probably gashed open after that one. And Solo bringing the fight. Reigns went head first off that ambulance. And now Solo Sokoa. He hit two Samoan spikes on Roman. Oh, hit him with a shovel. And now what is Roman thinking? And now Roman Reigns looking to put an end to this feud, put an end to his cousin. And that might do it, man. Come on, Solo. Just accept it. Roman Reigns. Oh! Yo, these two going crazy, man. So much at stake, man. Roman Reigns needs to be validated once again that he is the tribal chief. And Solo Sokoa is just testing that. Listen, Solo has been deemed the next in charge. Look at that right hand. That heavily taped right hand of Solo. Of course, delivers a lethal Samoan spike. Roman definitely got two of those. Probably not going to have a voice for the next two weeks because of them spikes. And now Solo, oh, got the kendo stick. Just introduced by Roman. It ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. And oh, man, breaking that kendo stick into pieces over his former tribal chief. And Roman is in trouble. And look at Solo. Oh, Roman is bloodied. Solo is not bloody. And Solo is putting in that work. He putting in that work on Roman. Roman is bloody. 
Solo has been throwing everything at Roman. And now Solo Sokoa throwing Roman into the back. And can Solo get both doors closed on Roman Reigns? He's got one. Yo, don't tell me. Solo Sokoa might put away Roman. Solo, can he get it? And he, oh, he doesn't get it. Oh, man. I thought he had it. I thought Solo had it. What a kendo stick. He wood chips all over the place. And Roman's got a sledgehammer. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, and just assaulting Solo, man. And now Roman, that shows Roman is not here to play games, man. But I don't think Solo is either. And another third time's a charm. No, it's not. Samoa Spike was countered. And Roman, oh. Doesn't know what he wants to do at this point. But Solo, he's got Roman hoisted. Roman thrown into the back. These two have hit everything at each other, man. I know Solo's back still got to be reeling. Reeling from being thrown off the top. He's got one door closed on Roman. Come on, Solo. Use that strength. Get the job done. No. Oh, man. Oh, and a spear from Roman Reigns. Ladies and gentlemen, that might have just sealed Solo Sokoa's fate. Solo just got hit with that spear. I don't think Solo has much fight left in him. I don't think Solo has much fight left in him. That spear may have taken everything from Solo in this match. We got to have a winner. No, and it's not Roman at the moment. Oh. Oh, and another spear, man. Oh, man. A second spear onto Solo Sokoa. And Roman bloodied once again. Looking to put away Solo. Come on, Solo. You can't take two spears and still be able to do this. There's no way. And Solo immediately got out of that. And now it's Solo Sokoa. Got Roman up. And Roman. Eating canvas. Solo Sokoa realizing that this is a war. Realizing what is at stake realizing that this is going to be his validation to prove himself he's looking for some more toys man we got a kendo stick busted open freaking shovel a couple chairs a sledgehammer and look at the chair shot to roman roman and another spear that's three spears man that is three spears that is three spears. Somebody take Solo to the local medical facility. That was three spears from Roman. There's no way. There is no way. There is no way. And Roman Reigns has just beaten Solo Sokoa. And just like that, Solo Sokoa has been put in this place. Roman Reigns asserts his dominance. It's been a very eventful event. Brutal matches, title changes. And we still got two more world championships on the line, including the women's world title, man. Yo, this is crazy. It's been a crazy event. Appreciate y'all for tuning in with me. And vibing with me. As we get set to see who's walking out of France. Undisputed women's world champion, man.
the Empress of Tomorrow, a woman that was once defeated in NXT, the current NXT Women's Champ. But listen, she's first in line to challenge for the Women's World Championship. And she's looking to trade in an NXT Women's title for an undisputed Women's World Championship. Asuka is nothing to be played with, nothing to be joked about. Her arsenal, her technique, her style is impressive, is lethal, is unpredictable. We don't just say no one is ready for Asuka because it sounds good, because we can put it on a shirt. No, no one is ever ready for Asuka, including our women's world champion, Becky Lynch, man. With all due respect, Asuka is a different type of talent. Question here, Becky Lynch and Asuka have both been very dominant they have been putting away everybody that they stepped into the ring with, but only one woman can walk out undisputed women's world champion. And for the man, Becky Lynch, France, acknowledge the man. And for Becky Lynch going into this match, it's been a journey for Becky to get back to the top of the mountain. It all began at the Elimination Chamber event in my 2K23 universe mode, she won that chamber. She went after the then women's world champion, Bailey. She fought through damage control. She defeated Bailey at WrestleMania to become the new women's world champion. Now, here we are tonight. The ultimate validation for Becky Lynch. If she wants to stay the man of the locker room, be the leader of the women's locker room here on Raw. She has to go through one of her toughest challenges of her career tonight. That is Asuka, man. Like I said, since NXT is no longer in this universe mode, it's just Raw and SmackDown. My champions that I have from 2K23 carried over, and they were all first in line to challenge for their respectable counterpart championship. DIY, brand new Raw Tag Team Champs. This is the final NXT title that has yet to be unified. And here we go. Sometime down the line, NXT, I do plan on it returning. Just right now, it's just going to be Raw and SmackDown. Now, Asuka, you know, when it comes down to Asuka and that NXT Women's Championship, that's bread and butter. She was undefeated. Then we got Becky, one of the first ever women to main event WrestleMania. I'm talking the Royal Rumble winner. She's won a lot of championships. She's always been dripped out in gold, but she is a SmackDown superstar. I actually forgot. So if Becky wants to remain the man of not just the Raw Women's Locker Room, but also the SmackDown Women's Locker Room, she has to beat Asuka tonight. But for the sake of Raw, for the sake of Raw, I know the women's locker room is rooting for Asuka to bring that women's world championship back to Monday nights. And here we go. Asuka, Becky Lynch, and Becky out the gate. Out the gate. You see her focus is on that arm for the inevitable disarmor. We know it's coming. But we talk about a lethal move like the disarmor. You cannot count out the Asuka lock. The Asuka lock, in my opinion, is probably a little more lethal then Becky's disarm her. Not even gonna lie, but Becky going to town, going to work. Oh. Asuka taking down Bex. Asuka, of course, Monday Night Raw superstar Becky, a SmackDown superstar holding a Raw championship. Ooh. Of course, on SmackDown, Ronda Rousey is not only the still women's tag team champ, but Ronda Rousey is the current defending WWE women's champion. And as of right now, SmackDown has two women's champions. So the fate of Raw in the women's locker room is pretty much in Asuka's hands in this match. Oh, Becky, nice to backstep that. These two haven't shared the ring too many times, but whenever they do, they make magic and create magic together. 
German suplex into a bridge pin. I like that. Oscar in trouble though. Oscar sent to the outside. Becky Lynch, she has no problem working both Mondays and Fridays, man. But it's the principle of it. Becky, you're no longer on Monday Night Raw. You're on SmackDown with your hubby Seth Rollins, who will be competing in a fatal four-way number one contenders match for the WWE title on the next episode of my SmackDown Universe Mode. So if you ain't sub, hit that sub button, man. We running Universe Mode up. Go back and check out my previous episodes, man. I'm loving this Universe Mode series this year. Oscar breaking the refs count. And Becky again into another pin combo. This is smart from Becky. It might not be three, but you're getting into the head of your challenger. You're getting into the head of Oscar. Psyching her out. Hitting her with pins left and right. Oh, and that was a clubbing blow. Taking Becky off two feet. Stay off of one of her feet. And Oscar getting surgical with the kicks. Becky quick to recover. And Becky Lynch now. Becky, nice. Cross arm bar. Cross arm bar and Oscar immediately out of that. It's been a night of nothing but crowning new champs. And now look at Oscar turning it up, pumping it up. Ooh. Becky laid out flat. Here's the cover. Do we have a new women's world champ? No. Every championship that has been defended so far tonight, with the exception of the women's tag team titles, have changed hands. And now Asuka chopping down Becky Lynch. Oh, and Becky sent right into that pole. Ref. Oh, getting her count. It'll be a, a tragedy for a match this high caliber with so much at stake to end via count out. I would not allow that. I wouldn't allow it. Oh. Count of five from the ref and... These two, so much at stake in this match. Back and forth. Count of seven. Becky sent over to the side. A count of eight. Count of nine. Becky, you got to get back in there. She gets right back in. Oh, and these two. Oh. And Becky and Oscar trading blows back and forth. Sold out here in France for backlash. Oh. Huh. Oh. And oh. Ooh. That's going to leave a mark in every place. Oh, and Oscar again. Who's better with kicks than Oscar? Oh. Yo, that might have just knocked Becky out. I think that knocked Becky out. No, it didn't. But Becky, Becky, we seen this, Becky. Getting out of here with that title, man. Pinner, pinner. Here's the cover, shoulders down, leg is hooked. Is this it? Is it it? No, Oscar is still in this match. Fight forever, Chance. All I got to say is once Asuka locks in at Asuka lock, it might be over, but it might be curtains right now. Becky got Asuka right where she wants to know and another kick out. Becky seems like she has Asuka's number at the moment. Oh, man. And look at Becky. Look at Becky. Look at this strength of the man. Oh. Oscar looking for a breather. This might be Becky's mistake. You don't let somebody like Oscar create the separation and get a breather. Not even for a second. Not even for a second. Becky is going up top. Becky Lynch up top, calling for Oscar to get up. And Becky, oh! I don't think she caught all that. I don't even think she caught her at all. Either way, Becky 
able to recoup from that. Players mess up too. And Oscar, that left arm of Oscar once again, becoming the main focus of attack from Becky. Gotta wonder when Becky is gonna wanna hit that disarm her on Oscar when she feels like it'll be fit. And look at this, now it's the right arm. No matter what, Becky, I have a bag to go to. Asuka in trouble again, man. Asuka hasn't been able to muster up any good offense in this match in a while. It's all Becky Lynch at the moment. Nice. And Becky looking to put Asuka away with that one. Here's the cover. Shoulders down. Leg is hooked. What? Becky won from that? Oh, man. Becky Lynch is still women's world champ, undisputed. Here we are. It's our main event here at Backlash. It's been a strange night. Strange endings to some of these matches, man. Controversial endings to some of these matches. But this is for the World Heavyweight Championship. And if the trend continues... This man could be walking out new world heavyweight champ. Now let me tell you a little story about Randy Orton. The youngest world heavyweight champion in the history of the WWE. For those of you who weren't around, those of you who were probably in Pampers at that time, let me tell you about the legend killer. The man that stood face to face with The Undertaker, with Hulk Hogan, Shawn Michaels, RVD, Dusty Rhodes. Let me tell you, when Cody Rhodes first came into the WWE, him and Randy Orton, that didn't see eye to eye. This turned into a legacy with Randy, Ted DiBiase Jr. and Cody Rhodes. They dominated Raw. They had a fallout. But listen, from that moment and on, the momentum of Cody Rhodes was ignited. Yes, Cody left, found himself, but he found success back here in the WWE, and that does not sit well with Randy Orton. For Randy Orton, in his mind, he gave Cody Rhodes everything. Everything. And tonight, Randy Orton, his main goal, his main focus is to kill the story. Can Randy Orton kill the story in this match here tonight with our world heavyweight champion, Cody Rhodes? Now, ladies and gentlemen, as I stated on the last episode of Raw Universe Mode, if LA Knight or Kevin Knowens or anyone for that matter get involved in this match, they will be fired immediately, taken off of universe mode. Because this match right here, we need a winner. This match right here, it gotta be set in stone. Whoever's walking out as world champ, listen. They will have earned this. And Cody Rhodes, he's ready for this. Who would have thought in the year 2007 when Cody Rhodes first came on to Monday Night Raw that one day we would get Cody Rhodes as World Heavyweight Champion facing off against Randy Orton in a main event of a stadium premium live event in France. Come on. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, looking to ensure his story stays alive. But if you're Randy Orton, you want to kill this story. You want to kill these dreams. You gave this man everything and taught him everything you know. Randy doesn't want to be pushed to the side. He doesn't want to be 
thrown out and pushed to the side. Randy's going to show. Look at it. You hear it. You hear it. A lot of love for Randy Orton out here in France. This is our main event. Next time Raw will have a premium live event here in my universe mode will be Vengeance. That'll be the next Raw premium live event. And that'll be following SmackDown's Judgment Day. So more on that when we get to SmackDown. But tonight, it is our main event. We got Randy Orton. First ballot, future Hall of Famer. He's done everything under the sun that there is to do in this business. Third generation wrestler. And then we got the American Nightmare. The son of the son of a plumber. The American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes. Our current world heavyweight champion. These two go way back. Way back. And it's all going to culminate in this match. Now, Cody Rhodes has been dealing with the NWO. Dealing with them, attacking him, leaving them bloody, putting them through tables. They've been assaulting him ever since WrestleMania. Ever since CM Punk wanted to make that cameo. The NWO has not let Cody Rhodes out of his sight. But tonight, it's all Cody and Randy and that's all it's gonna be this is our main event here tonight here we go and Randy Luthez press out the gate I said Randy Orton and Cody Rose I guess you can both look at them as you know both veterans but Randy Orton has been in WWE longer he's been doing this way longer than Cody oh for Randy Orton you know oh Look at this era. You know, you could put Randy Orton in the same class of guys like Batista, guys like John Cena, guys like Edge. And how many of those are still doing this right now? Only Randy Orton. So, yes, he has a valid point for feeling like he's been pushed to the side. Like they're trying to create a new guy and trying to get rid of him, which that's not the case. Randy Orton is a generational talent. But his judgment is so clouded. It's Cody Rhodes. Nice. Cody Rhodes has been on fire over the last few weeks. Defeated Santos Escobar to become undisputed world heavyweight champion. Unifying the NXT and world title. Defeating LA Knight. Battle, battling off the NWO. Teaming with Solo Sokoa. It's been a crazy amount of four weeks for Cody Rhodes. Look at this figure four leg lock shades of the nature boy Ric Flair. A guy that Randy Orton knows so well, which is why he reversed this move so quick. Randy was once that guy for Triple H, once that guy for Ric Flair. They taught him everything that he knew. Talk about the evolution days. Oh! Backbreaker just lethal from Randy Orton. This fireman's carry, Randy Orton is going to play with Cody Rhodes in the early goings of this match. But just remember, that RKO, when it hits, oh, it hits out of nowhere. And Cody knows that. He's gotten a few RKOs these last four weeks from Randy Orton. The mind games have been real from Orton. And Randy Orton's eyes, man, winning the World Heavyweight Championship, that's just a part of it. He wants to end Cody Rhodes. Oh. A little mistake there from Cody. Side rushing leg sweep. Ooh. Randy Orton to make light work of our current world heavyweight champion at the moment shoulders down legacy hook Cody got Randy down and a kick out at one for Cody Rhodes look at that nice maybe a little bit of a clear mind in this match knowing that there won't be any interference but then again you got to remember, we, we have a Mr. Money in the Bank. Wesley could cash in. If he's here, he could cash in. Wes is a SmackDown superstar, though. But he could have made the long flight to France if it meant capturing a world heavyweight title. Man. Kind of four from the ref. Count of five. And Cody Rose does have the champion's advantage, but Cody 
is not that type of guy. If Cody gets it done, he wants to get it done. Fair and square, no questions asked. This match quickly shifted from being in Randy's favor to Cody Rhodes' favor, man. He can... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Cross Rhodes! Out of nowhere. That came out of nowhere. Randy in trouble. No, kick out at two. And now Cody Rhodes. This is smart to stay on the attack, stay on the offense, man. Prove to Randy Orton that you're still him. You're really that guy. Diving elbow drop. Who could forget the feud between Randy Orton and Cody's dad, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Oh, oh, and Randy, bloodied, but still got a lot of fight left in him. Oh, and a clothesline, and another clothesline, Randy Orton getting in mode, power slam, nice. And here's the cover on the world champ. Do we have a new champion here at Backlash? No, kick out at two. Never know in these matches, man. Asuka, she couldn't take much more from Becky Lynch. Randy's case, he's probably still trying to fight off that crossroads. Now Randy, you know what Randy is thinking right now. Oh, now I know what he's thinking. We've seen this move done to the best of the best of them. And Cody is laid out. Bye-bye, world title. No! He barely kicked out of that. And Cody is bloody. Both of these men are bloody. When you talk about blood, sweat, and tears for these world championships, listen, this is what we talk about. Oh. Now Cody Rose, what is Cody Rose thinking? Pedigree on the outside, Randy knows a lot about that move. Shout out Triple H, man. Now Cody Rose, the pedigree on Randy Orton, trying to get him back inside the ring. And it looked like Orton was gonna go for an RKO. Cody quick to combat that. Oh! Kinda six. Count of seven, Randy Orton's like laid out on the outside though, man. Count of eight, if this ends by count out, count of nine, Randy, get in. Oh, what a RK! Oh, and Cody kicks out. It looked like he had the ropes though, that's weird. That's how we had new tag team champs at the start of the show. And Randy Orton is not done yet. Randy's not done yet. He hit one RKO, and there's two RKOs. Yo. Yo. End of. No. It's not the end of the story. Cody just ate two RKOs, man. And Rose, crossroads, and he hits. Crossroads on Orton. Here's the cover. One, two, and still world heavyweight champion. And that's how you get the job done. Cody Rhodes, still world heavyweight champion. Cody Rhodes cut the head off the Viper. And Cody Rhodes is still the man. Listen, he also still got a target on his back. Cody is still World Heavyweight Champion. Appreciate y'all for tuning in for Backlash. And I'll see y'all on Raw Universe Mode as we begin the road to Raw's next premium live event, Vengeance. Appreciate all y'all. And I'll see y'all then. I'm out.